we're back. We're doing this one about all the cushions you made. So I'm out. We lost some of the footage. <laughs> So this is going to be one of those videos where I pop it in and surprise her, see what she's doing. And here we are, back at the house. What should I say? The web, the warehouse factory. Working on uh, cushions. Look at those bad boys. Man, she got two done already. Holy crud. And uh, of course we've got other things littered around here and uh, in our rental house. And here's the Admiral hard at work. Hey babe, what's up? Hey. What you working on? I am making piping. Cool. That's not drug related paraphernalia, is it? What's piping? Piping is... I want to see what piping looks like. Oh, Imagine, look at that. Um, totally awesome. It's the round bumpy stuff that goes around the cushions. Cool! Yeah. Sweet. So since now I'm not working as much, now she's doing all the work. So we've transformed the wonderful dining room. Dining. Yeah, it's in the car. I gotta go get it. Um, so she's like jamming through these new cushions. We have a good big. That's a four by eight sheet of plywood sitting right there in the middle of the dining room on the dining room table. Always good. <laughs> I'm not doing much to boat anymore. She's kind of doing all the work now. So you just got to make it all look pretty. So I, I did all the painting. Yeah, you're and you're going to take over the laundry and... Oh, look. Got work to do on the boat. Got to go. <laughs> okay, well, that ends our video here. I got to go. <laughs> okay, I'm back. She won't make me do laundry. So the Admiral here, Jean. Hey, honey. Hey. She's got this really cool tool. Tell me what this tool it's a is. a hot knife. Okay, did and I what do? it does oh. with synthetic fabrics, it burns them up. No, it cuts it with an edge that won't ravel. So it seals the edge up at the same time it's yes, cutting. Yes, so because it melts it. Gives you a good edge. Yes. Sweet. And it's hot. How long did it take you to find that thing? <laughs> to find the best price, it took about a week. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to spend... A hundred bucks on a hot knife. <laughs> how, much is, how much does it usually run for? What did you get it for? I got it for a hundred bucks. Seriously? Yeah. How much was it? Uh, wait a minute. Did I miss something? How much are they usually that you were looking at? hundred fifty. Oh, so it wasn't too far off. But no. Was it worth it, all that money? Yes, and I really like this particular... This one came from North Carolina. I like this one because it has this bottom plate. Because mm -hmm. the videos I watched on sale, right? Mm -hmm. Um... They were telling you to cut on top of a metal ruler, ruler or something, yeah. Um, so you didn't burn your table, and as you gotcha. can see, well, that's good. Because I, I wouldn't do this on a regular table, but that's just plywood I got, yeah. But it's it still not burning the plywood. I right. Don't really want the plywood headed because yeah, I'm, and it smoked the inside and set the smoke alarm off in here. <laughs> it does smoke. And yeah. I probably wouldn't. Yeah. You should, probably shouldn't breathe too deeply. Yes. Gotcha. Cool. So what? Uh, so you're still working on piping for like all the cushions right now? Um, all of the ones around the table. All the one that's going to have the and coral the color to it right now. What? This is our daughter. That's our daughter, Christina. Say hey, Christina. Leave the garage door open. Oh. Yeah, I'm working on. It. Thanks. So we're doing video. Say hi to everyone on YouTube. Can you get a vlog? No, oh, I. Oops. Okay. She's moving out soon. Anyway, so. inspirational piece for all of the colors on the boat and it's wider than the 54 inches that the material came in so I had to take the main piece right here down the middle and add material onto each side 
and I was very particular and if you look closely here the seam comes up here but I was careful to match it up pretty well that um, all the way down I wanted my material to match and to be a continuation of the pattern so this pattern has a repeat but in one direction the lobsters go one way and the next repeat it goes the other way so it took me a long time hours to measure the material so I could get the most out of my material and that it would all match up because it was very important to me that it all match up <laughs> so I sewed this the fabric store that I was purchasing my material from they had a you button say, cover. You can say the name. Mill Outlet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's okay. They, they do a lot We're not of... sponsored. You can say the name. <laughs> okay. So they do a lot of um, decor decorative Material. fabric um, for draperies, for furniture, um, both indoor and outdoor. And this was an indoor-outdoor material that they even had a piece of it soaking in straight bleach. And it doesn't... Um, or discolor or anything or discolor and so this is indoor outdoor which it's is really nice it's impervious to me <laughs> i hope so <laughs> it wasn't cheap and they don't make it anymore bummer so hey the back of it there's a board that we stapled this piece on and this material it, i thought it coordinated pretty well and we used it for other places on the boat. It's it less as expensive. <laughs> so, it's, not like it's not an indoor outdoor material, it's uh -huh. an indoor material. Um, but I did use it in some places. And there's a board on the back of this, and then there's. Hey, I found your missing cushion. sock again. Oh, in front of it. <laughs> Look at your missing sock. I found yes. it wrapped around the bottle. <laughs> okay. So, um, I made the cushions for this. Then I made some accent pillows out of the leftovers. And then I had little strips and I... Waste not one, huh? Used it to make additional pillows to help tie the two materials what's the, together. What's this stuff called on the side? The piping. Piping. I used it for the piping. You did a lot of piping. Well, piping really gives it a finished, a finished look. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you don't have to do the piping, but it just doesn't have that high quality finished look um, when I did this I was still using my Kenmore machine a Kenmore that my mom had bought when I was probably 11 years old it has metal components so it's not one of these plastic machines that you get today and it worked really well except this material there's a lot of loops on the back and in the middle of working with this material I had to take my machine in to get it serviced how many times? I think twice during the whole project. Once in the beginning and once after working with this material in particular. Um, so, you know, you're sewing through one, two, three, four, at least four layers and spots and even more during your seams. So, um, I had little pieces left over and I made accent pillows, as you can see. Over here, this was, um, I started with these pillows here, these cushions here. These are just soft on the bottom. On the bottom, you use a, um, a netting type of material, which allows it to breathe and dry out, and it's a lot less expensive. It's like about $5 a yard, where this is like $13, $14 a yard. And I don't want to talk about how much the other one was a yard. <laughs> These are wooden on the back, and so that's why it was stapled along the back. Um, the front part sewed, you have your material. There's holes in the wood. If you can see where that dents in, you can kind of see where the circle is. And that's because the button has strong um, strings on it, and you take it and you tie it off with a long needle you tie it off to give it a little bit of this puckering. There's a name for that. I can't think of what the name is. So I did all of these following a sell right video. I must must have watched that video at least 10 times. You know, a couple times 
before I measured out all my material. And this material was nice because I didn't have to necessarily have all my material laid out and cut in the same direction because there's not a repeating pattern. The one area I found I had issues were, were these corner pieces. And I still have to put snaps. They had snaps on there originally. And this piece is made so that you can put snaps on there so that they stay and turn. I noticed when I did the first ones, they were just actually flat. Um, they, the no curve. cushion wasn't cut to a curve or anything. And the material wasn't really, this part might have been cut to a curve a little bit here. But the thing I didn't account for that once it is on a curve, the front is going to be smaller than the back. Mm -hmm. So I had the first one cut out and I had to redo it because I didn't account for that. So. I was making all my patterns from the cushions that were here previously, not necessarily from the material. And um, if you follow the Sailrite videos, they tell you how to do all of your your zippers. And you know they say measure twice, cut once. Before you even measure, I think you have to think it through in your head. You know how am I laying this out? How is this going to work? and then measure once or twice and cut. <laughs> I did mess up a couple times, um, but I was able to use those pieces on smaller cushions and such. And those videos are very helpful. I was able to do this. I was not a master sewer or anything before I did this. And I was able to follow the videos. This little piece is for when we do make this into a bed, there's like a little missing spot and this cushion fits right in there. Because the table overhangs the side of the bench there. Yeah, but it doesn't when you put it down to right. be the bed. So we just kind of throw it in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had some leftover material. We were at a store and I saw a starfish pillow that they wanted like I don't know, 50, 60 dollars for the pillow. I'm like, heck no. So I have one that I have done some decorative stitching on. Be dazzled. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and this right here is just the salvage. And I, I thought it added some character to my starfish. So I started to do stuff on here. I just haven't finished this one. <laughs> So I did try to um, coordinate the two colors by taking the what we, piping from the other material and adding it to this and kind of cross some cushions. And we actually have a couple in our house now because our couch in the house almost matches this material exactly. Okay. So, Any more cushion right. needed? Oh, um, another one. Be cushions and they were straight simple I didn't do any piping on these because you're gonna sleep on them and you don't want that extra oh there is something underneath I forgot to mention in like our tour video Do you can lift that up this is uh, um, vent yeah. material to help the bottom venting since these don't have that um, that mesh that screening so these well just because it's a bed too and yeah you have all that and that moisture and humidity so um, I can, I've got a link I can give if anyone wants to get some of this material to put down. So, oh, and where did we get those crab pillows? I forgot, weren't they special or something? We got them back when we had an RV. Oh, yeah. And, um... We won't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have some of the coral pillows up here. Yeah, we just try to bring the colors throughout the boat for the most part. Yeah, like the color of the back the the birth there and the door here that's coral and grays and, aha what's this this one is so that we still need to do the snaps but it's so that it'll snap onto the board for the v-birth oh that's so the right here the v piece gotcha. yeah 
And then, again, I know I've shown this in another video. But, but it's still so cool. <laughs> this is something I came up with on my own. Yeah. I was reading awesome. about putting storage in open sight. And I thought, you know, where am I going to put all the blankets? You know, we probably won't have people in here that often. But when we do, so what I did, this is lightly padded each side. So you can't see all the lumps. Um, and I just took like sheet material on the inside and finished off the edges on the inside. And this is a blanket for up here. Let me pull it out. Like, what does it look like when it's like empty? <laughs> it has a couple of oh, you have a couple blankets in there. And some other blanket. Wow, well, how much stuff okay. is in there? Three blankets. Oh, now look, it's nothing. Except extra thread. <laughs> oh, I think that's the thread for the starfish. Oh, all oh, right. Okay, well, and some embroidery floss. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you see it's pretty flat. Oh, there you go. Just turn her inside out. So I did each of these panels, and there, there's some filling in there, uh, mm -hmm. batting. And then I did the edges. I covered the edges here so that. As you're pulling things in and out, the edges wouldn't become a problem and start fraying. I got a little bit there, but most of the edges are covered. So that's what it looks like. This seam has come up a little bit. But the edges there. And so you pick the size you want, make your pillow, and then instead of stuffing it with a pillow or... Stuff it with your sheets. Stuff it with your sheets. Stuff it with your blankets. Okay. Is that it? They want your guest to say, here you go. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's it. And um, if you have any questions, comments, please yeah, definitely put some comments. If you have questions, put them in the comments. Gene will be happy to answer them. Yep. Okay. And uh, if you click, like this video, yeah, click, click like and subscribe. Click we really the appreciate it. bell for crying out loud, that stupid bell. They, YouTube added that and you got to click it to say you want to receive this, you know, even though you subscribe, you're not going to get notified unless you click the bell. So, oh. Yeah, so you got to click the bell. <laughs> All right, that's it. So we're, we're not sure uh, what our next episode will be and we're not sure when it'll be. Same bad channel. Same not sure channel, same not sure time. <laughs> yeah, okay, great. Thanks, we're done. Bye.